Hey folks, it's me, the Scatchman. We are talking with Joel. He is from Shadow Guard. And Joel, what is Shadow Guard? Uh, Shadow Guard, Heroes of Shadow Guard is a dungeon crawler RPG. Uh, it's turn based, it's for mobile and PC. Uh, one of the really cool things that we're doing though is we're trying to allow players to experience both sides of dungeon crawling. So uh, the dungeon crawling that you do is from a first person uh, point of view, um, but what's really cool is you can actually design your own Labyrinth dungeon for other players to come and try to raid. So sort of like Dungeon Keeper back in the day? Yes, very much so, yeah. All right. So uh, he's actually looking at the editor right now, and this is where you would actually uh, tap the different pieces to create your maze. You can actually uh, tap walls to add or remove. And so you obviously want to make as cool of a maze as you can. And, and then do you have a hero character, as it were, yourself, that you go storm yeah, other people's so libraries? Uh, so everything from the from the editor uh, scene that we're in now is more or less like the defensive standpoint. So this is you beefing up your defenses, selecting your guards and your orbs and your traps and your walls and all that kind of stuff. And then on the, on the flip side, uh, you have a series of heroes, 14 heroes in all, um, that you can use to try to raid opponent labyrinths. Now, are they, like you said, a series of heroes? Are they all their own unique heroes? Do they have, or are they stuff you created, or right. random, or how's that? Right, so they're all unique heroes with unique abilities. Um, so we have 14, they're predetermined, but you start off with, uh, with two and actually work your way up to the 14. You can have three of them active at any given time whenever you're raiding the labyrinth. Do you, give them, do you recruit them? Do you collect them through gameplay? You do. So, uh, so as you're going through the quest, as you uh, proceed through the quest line, uh, you unlock additional heroes. Oh, awesome. And same yeah. thing. Is that, does that work with the dungeon as well? Do you unlock, say, different types of traps, Absolutely. different types of yep. terrain? You got it. You got it. So uh, these traps that you see here, these are unlocked over the course of you upgrading your labyrinth uh, and getting the different levels. And in fact, uh, labyrinth levels four through six, you actually have a second floor that you can design as well. So you put stairs and everything. And is that kind of the thing? Is that sort of every game's got a carrot on a stick? Is that it? Making your heroes yeah. better and better, making yeah, your dungeon right. better so and better. We try to give as much gameplay as we possibly can. So yeah, it's uh, it's got crafting. You you have legendary uh, weapons and gear. You can really get. Uh, you can put a lot of time into the game to really, if you really want to max out your heroes, you really want to max out your labyrinth, there's a whole lot of content. Now it's on uh, iOS, you said it's coming to, or it's coming to uh, iOS we, and Android, it's on Steam now? Yeah, we, we hope to be um, uh, in public beta, uh, closed public beta uh, for iOS and Android next week. And um, we were greenlit four days ago, so uh, oh, congratulations. Should, yeah, appreciate it. Um, should have uh, PC build hopefully in the next couple months. And it's true, it's a true multi-platform game. Uh, the server, the way the server-side scripting works, you can actually play uh, the exact same account on iOS, Android, and PC. So you can go like raid someone's dungeon on your PC and then hop over to your iPad and chill on the couch and design your, your dungeon. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. So I can show you the, um, the combat side of the game as well. And let's see, here we go. So this is our shortened PAX uh, map here, just to, <laughs> to give people a little bit quicker experience. And um, you'll see the different orbs that are actually coming up. Any uh, guards that spawn within the radius of these orbs actually uh, gain different buffs to their stats. So yeah, easy controls, touch and hold to move forward, and then swipe to turn. Fair enough. So was the main inspiration for this game like Dungeon Keeper, or, or where, did this, where did the idea come so, from? Um, a lot of it is uh, actually inspired by um, Shining in the Darkness. Uh, oh, sure, yeah. The Sega game? Yeah. yeah. Um, so basically, I was just thinking it'd be really cool uh, if you had this game in a multiplayer aspect. So, And how, how do you make a um, dungeon crawler multiplayer? Well, you let players design their own dungeons. You know, make your own maze. It's, it's a first-person maze, um, so we, we allow you to design the maze from a top-down perspective. Uh, and then you essentially have a multiplayer Shining in the Darkness or uh, you know Final Fantasy first person kind of style uh, RPG. Awesome. Where can people find more information about you right now? Sure. Uh, ShadowGuard.com and also Iron27.com. Awesome. Thanks, Joel. Thank you. I hope you have a great PAX. All right. Thank you.